Well, this conversation started with the community in September after the state board warned schools it could ban names like the Indians as mascots. Tonight, they decided to hear from members of the Oneida Nation to find out how they feel about the name. How I am represented as an indigenous person is a serious matter to me. Members of the Oneida Nation spoke first tonight saying the use of the name Indians as a mascot is derogatory, promotes stereotypes, and hurts Native Americans. Public schools are about educating all children, not just some children. Then community members got their chance to weigh in. That includes some parents who are Native American. I had a conversation with my son and he said it, it it was degrading and that he didn't want to get involved in sports. While other residents believe strongly in the mascot, you can even find signs in yards outside of the high school urging people to keep the mascot. Since 2000, we probably have close to $2,000 in clothes in our family that say Indians, Falls Indians, Falls football, Indians football. They asked instead the school board put the name up for a referendum instead of deciding it themselves. There's a lot that feel, I don't want to say honored, that's not probably the right word, but do not look as a mascot or a name as being discriminatory. So I think we have to look at it in a lot of different lights. So what happens next with this? The superintendent is actually going to give his opinion on whether or not the mascot should stay or go in the November 11th meeting. Then the full school board will vote on this come December. Reporting live, Rebecca Clough, today's TMJ4.